people think that Los Angeles is just traffic and boring cars and people using cars to commute everywhere. But they're actually little pockets of strangeness and classic LA weirdo car culture that I think we have to see. We've come to this unmarked garage on an unsuspecting street corner to see something very unusual. The garage is owned by Paul Greenstein, a classic car collector and restorer who is always working on the weird and the strange. This is a den of insanity. I specialize in strange and different. That's the joy of Los Angeles. Absolutely. Yeah, like you never know what's over that fence right. or in that garage. Let me just say, this is one of the more fascinating collections of cars and motorcycles that I've ever seen. This is a Tatra. Would you mind backing it out? Yeah, why not? Tatra is a Czech automotive company, and it's one of the oldest in the world. This particular Tatra is the T87, built in 1941. The car itself is extraordinarily rare. Only a few hundred still exist in the world today. This okay. car was way ahead of its time, really aerodynamic, and it's also got a air-cooled Hemi V8 mounted in the rear. No one ever really did that before or since. Today, Tatra's known as being weird and wonderful all at the same time. You would expect there to be a gigantic engine in the front of this. Thing. Right. Which... And instead, we get... Engine oil cooler. Oh, wow. Gas tank. This was not a car that is setting out to be strange. This was a car setting out to be as rational and normal as possible. Right. This was designers who said, what should a car do? How should it do it? How do we get there? Seems oddly spacious inside. And like, being in this car, looking through this three-piece windshield, like, mm -hmm. it actually does change the way you look at the world. Flat windshield sucks. Right. Yes. So this was their way of making a wraparound windshield. Three pieces. Right. Yeah. In the 1950s, LA was the hub for strange Euro oh, imports. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Gazillions of car makers all making their own ideas yep. of what a perfect car would be. This was the beachhead for European imports for America. And not just European imports, but people trying different things. I yes. Mean, for better or for worse, you have a car like the Davis. Right. If you wanted an Allard, you came to Los Angeles to buy it. These being individual pursuits of an idea of what a car should be. Could we go for a ride in it? Yeah, why not? Hi. Harpo and I are going to come along for the ride. Hello, I'm hello. It's good to meet you. Joining us on the ride is Paul's girlfriend, Didia, a geography professor and, naturally, a P-51 Mustang pilot who collaborated with him on the car's restoration. Raph, we're in a Tatra right now. The sound is fantastic, and it is really quite smooth. This car was made just before the Germans invaded Russia. So the person who bought this car in 41 probably only had it for a month or two. Wow. And then most likely it was impounded by the German army. After the war, it was brought to the US, and it sat for about 20 years outside. Sitting on a concrete slab, the whole car was rust. I mean, that was the only color of the car. All the rust. dash, everything was smashed out. The upholstery was just in. It was just not even rags. And you guys rebuilt all this yourself. Some of it we did ourselves. Some of it we took to a shop in Czech Republic right next to the factory. You called... shipped it back to the Czech shipped Republic? Shipped it, yeah. This car is very widely traveled. It sounds like in the car's history, a lot of people didn't take care of it. But they also it also seems like nobody had the heart to junk it. Even if it's just an old, screwed up, junky car, you go, eh, it's a special old, screwed up, junky car. Yeah. Keep it. Come on, baby. You can do it. It does not like to stand still. Because this Tatra's V8 is rear-mounted and air-cooled, it really works best when it's going at high speed with lots of cool air rushing over it. Not if you're in LA traffic in 90 plus degree heat. If there's our shop, if necessary, we will push it. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh-oh. Let me get out and push, too. Come on. People want interesting cars, interesting lives. OK. Can you take it here? Yeah, let's, we'll let it cool down. So the car overheated, but a lot of people who move to LA to feel special can feel more special than when you're one of these. Yeah, especially when you're help pushing it into your garage. <laughs> right here we have the joy of driving a Tatra.